All right, folks, but you guys, idiot, we are back on Criminal Case on Facebook. Let's head on. Hey, so if whatever the hustle is true, Stanley Spock paid her to step out of inventions at the World Exhibition, guaranteeing its victory. This investigation isn't over yet, Ace. We must confront Stanley Spock. Tiny. And we know exactly where he'll be right now, at the World Exhibition Award Ceremony. Yep. Remember, after this, we're going to go to the, we're going to change your diaper, and we're going to go to the park. Remember? So let Daddy record, please. Wow, that was a thrilling demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for Stanley Spark and his fantastical suit. Well, thank you, Mr. Rochester. Thank you, my fellow Concordians. Well, I congratulate all of the World Exhibition inventors on their ingenuity. The exosuit exo has outshone them all. It is therefore my pleasure to declare Stanley Spark this year's World Exhibition winner. It was a great honor to receive this award. In my opinion, the Spark exosuit will revolutionize. Wait, stop! You must cease these proceedings immediately. Sutra Brace, what is this? Mr. Rochester, this contest has been fraudulently manipulated. A grand deception orchestrated by Stanley Spark himself. My Sp Mr. Spark bribed Inspector Halston to sabotage the competition inventions. I say, this must be a mistake. The exosuit is not a worthy victor. Stanley Spark, you're under arrest. I'm afraid Senior Trooper Ace is correct, but none of you have any idea what you're dealing with. Perhaps another demonstration. Don't move, Spock. Just try and stop me. Come, Mr. Rochester, let's take a stroll. What? Ace, he's gone. We must catch Spark and save Leopold Rochester. Oh, we mustn't act hastily, Ace. I have great fears about the exosuit. Its actual purpose has never been explained. There's no telling what Spark has planned. Let me come with you, Ace. I can help you catch Spark. Very well. As for me, Ace, I'll return to the airship and brief Chief Wright on Eleanor Halsted's treachery. He'll certainly want to talk to you as soon as possible. Alright, Ace. I saw Spark dragging Mr. Rochester towards the exhibition tower. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Oh, br oh brother. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. Bon, bon Temps has briefed me on the troubling developments, Ace. I still cannot believe it. I live in Ohasta would accept bribes to ensure Stanley Spark's victory. When the Flying Squad was established to combat corruption in the police force, I never dreamed it spread so high up in the ranks. The importance now is to discover the extent of Halsted's treachery. If she was accepting bribes from Spark, it's likely she took money from other sources. If you found Eleanor's security folder in the Crystal Palace earlier, you and Bon Temps scoured the auditorium. Perhaps there's more to be found. Take this, Ace. Spare no expense. This is our chance to strike a heavy blow against corruption in the department. Nice. Hey, we got like five minutes. Five minutes, and then we'll get you ready. You can you can record with me though. If you want to come up, you can. Or you just want to look at me glaringly, giving me giving, giving me the guilty look. All right, so. Oh no! Oh, I thought he was dead. No, please. I am really struggling at finding anything here. Holy moly! Constellation, stain plan. Ah, stain plan. All right. Okay, how am I failing so miserably on all of this stuff? There it is, that's why, it was way up there. I still, oh, there's a TR and the umbrella. Wow, that's gonna take like what? Oh my gosh, almost a minute. Distracting me, kid. Mr. Rochester, thank God you're safe. First of all, heavens you're here, since you're brave. Stanley Spark has gone mad. Well, fear not. If your senior race will catch him, which way did he go? I believe he headed upwards to the top of the tower. Well, at least we know Spark is cornered, Ace. He's going nowhere. Well, which means there's time to take a sample of the purple stain on Spark's exosuit plans. He must have dropped them in his haste. I'll make sure the tower is cordoned off, Ace. You look after that sample. Uh-oh. Something's going on. Something's going on. You okay? 
So be careful. Running into walls, kid. Alright, so. So let's see. Ice bucket. Cat. I think the cat was like. Over here. A parrot. Sarcophagus. Trumpet. Newspaper. Megaphone. Cake. I don't know what the goggles are. There. Leopard Cats clearly belongs to Miss Hostet Ace. This can be just a clue we need to uncover her misdeeds. Naturally, this case is secure, but that lock is no match for you, Ace. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Hey, you. You. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, you, kid. Come here. I'm gonna have to, like, mute this. Crazy kid. Way too much fun. Trying to... Purple liquid, weird. Well, there's no time to waste, Ace. All those sparks trapped on the exhibition tower, we've got no idea what he's up to. Let's dispatch that purple liquid you collect from his plants of Viola, and hope we can find a weakness to exploit. If it's an exit to make fly, he can probably fly off the tower. At least that's my thought. All right, so that's V E eight or M F eight. Yep, that's a Z two X L. It's a one five four. Boom shakalaka. Made up for that horrible first start. Well, a second bank chip she found in Hoss's brief. He could reveal a pattern in her financial dealings. Ace, let's get them to Miss Holloway. Anyways, guys, take care of this kid. Uh, wait the nine hours. I will be right back. This is my pitching is idiot. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pachini City, we're back. Let's finish off some of this stuff. Hey, the purple liquid you found in Sparks Exosuit. Plants primarily consist of betaine, a common ingredient in mechanical cooling formulas. The logical conclusion is that the Exosuit is leaking cooling fluid, which is a worrying development, as Charles will explain. Ace, while Viola was taking a look at that sample, I examined the plants themselves. Spark never mentioned it, but it's clear as Exosuit could fly. Probably why we went to the top of the tower. Spark's planning to escape by flying away. But if that suit has sprung a leak, Spark could plummet to his death. Ace, our intention was to arrest Spark for bribing Halstead, but now we must save him from certain death. Let's get to the tower at once. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. He was going to try and fly it. I must admit, Ace, tracing financial records is terribly dull. We've had enough excitement for one day, Evie. Have you made headway with these checks? Recovering evidence of Hostel's crime is one of the utmost importance. Yes, I have traced a check dated a week prior to the opening of the World Exhibition. The account number corresponds with that of Spark Industries. But it goes further, Ace. I found a series of checks paid from another account on a regular basis, going back six months. The account number was unusually difficult to trace, as if someone was deliberately wanted to remain anonymous, so I decided it needed an unconventional perspective. Unconventional? What are you? <sighs> Good evening, fair Madeline. Oh, it's you, Detective Bond Temps. Pleasant evening. Mr. Delobo, well, were you able to trust those mysterious payments? Of course, fraudulent activities are my specialty from an academic perspective, naturally. It wasn't easy, but after some digging, it appears that these payments originate from an individual only known as Mad Dog. They've been greasing Halstead's paw for months. Huh. Well, we're clearly on the right track and Miss Halstead is being paid off by an elusive figure calling themselves a mad dog. I agree, Ace. Mr. and Miss Halstead was tight-lipped, but perhaps a few hours in prison have loosened her tongue. Let's see what she knows about this mad dog. That better not be Madeline. Senior Brace, glad you could join me. I was hoping you witnessed my magnum opus. Hey, Mr. Spark, we know all about your suit's flight capabilities, but flight capabilities a gross understatement, Senior Brace. Aviation is just the beginning. My technology is beyond imagination, the fusion of man and machine, harmony of mechanics and human intellect. Oh, please understand, Mr. Spark, your suit is leaking coolant. It will never be able to lift off. You must shut it down. 
Nice try, C Trooper Ace, but you cannot possibly fathom the complexity of my technology. And if you think I'm just going to let you take me away in shackles, you're sorely mistaken. No, you must come down. Farewell, St. Therese. You should feel honored. You are witnessing history in the making. What? Spark, come back. Look at the power, St. Therese. I'm invincible. Please, Mr. Spark, there isn't time. Wait, what's happening? Ah, uh, good heavens. Ace, he's plummeted to the bottom of the tower. We must ascend at once. There's no way he survives that. Oh, God, Ace, there's nothing we can do anymore. Spark's dead. I'll call someone to remove his body in the wreckage. If only a listener reason, he would have been in custody, but at least he would have survived. History in the making, indeed. We DuPont have always been more inclined towards science than history, but I must admit, this is a story worthy of my journal. I agree, Ace. After all the drama, let's return to the airship. Wow. Whoa, she looks different. This isn't already seen, Trooper Ace. I haven't had time to decorate. Enough for all this, Miss Halstead. We know you receive bribes from an individual named a Mad Dog, and we demand to know who they are. Ah, you figured that out, didn't you? I'm impressed, Sr. Trooper Ace. Mad Dog goes to great lengths not to be found. But if you think I'll tell you who they are or what they pay me for it, you can forget it. You've already threatened me my life once. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Well, if this Mad Dog threatened your life, you should be all the more willing to bring them to justice. Tell us who they are. Forget it, but the threat they sent me should still be in the Crystal Palace. Have a look there and take this food with you, Sr. Trooper Ace. I've lost my appetite. Interesting. So they bribed her. Oh, there it is. Target. Cloud, sea lion, butterfly, mask. I don't know what we're looking for, Ace. He also claims there was evidence pro proving the so-called Mad Dog Threatener, but I'm at a loss. Pile of broken wood. Well, that hardly seems relevant, but I trust your instincts, Ace. Resemble, reassemble those pieces at will. Dead. That is creepy. Oh, what a frightful visage, Ace. And that grim Halstead, where we play on Halstead's name, is clearly a threat. Pierce she was telling the truth. Mad Dog sent this threatener, but I can't see anything that would help us identify them. Great idea. If there's anyone who knows about threats and intimidation, it's Rose. Let's have her examine this plaque. Here that much yet uh, yesterday. Hey, so you must warn me. Sending me things like this wooden plaque is frightening, Rasputin, half to death. Nothing that a little cheese couldn't fix, right, Rasputin? Duly noted, Rose. How about that wooden carving? Well, also, I wasn't exaggerating. Whoever sent this plaque wanted her to understand that life was in danger. This is a depiction of a banshee, which in Irish mythology is a female spirit that appears as a forewarning of imminent death. However, coupled by that threat, this is typical of the intimidation tactics employed by Irish gangsters operating in Concordia, and I've had some run-ins with them myself over the years. So this mad dog is an Irish thug? Correct, and if they had Chief Inspector in their pocket, they're not a small-time thug either. Well, I guess we have not answered today, so we must look for the Chief as soon as possible. When Mayor Castleton opened the World Exhibition, I doubt he imagined it would be plagued by murder, Ace. Nor was the invention to be deliberately sabotaged by Eleanor Halstead on the orders of Stanley Spark. <sighs> One is in prison and the other has perished, killed by his own technology. But what of the competition, Chief? With so many inventions, either sabotage or killed, who shall be declared the winner? Well, to honor her memory on the night of the tragedy, Leopold Rochester has seen fit to posthumously award the prize to Celine Georges. A suitable tribute indeed. But your own invention shall not go to waste. The DNA machine will be of great assistance in future investigations, I wager. Quite right, Chief. I'll tell Richard the good news. We shall install the equipment immediately. 
like you to come with me, Ace. I heard about Miss Halstead getting bribes from this mad dog. We must tell Commissioner Baldwin about this. And Baldwin looks like he's Irish. Just saying. Congratulations, Senior Trooper Ace. A stellar job by all accounts. You fulfilled your ultimate mandate at the Flying Squad, rooting out corruption within the Concordian Police Department. Not only did you discover all Eleanor Har Halstead was bribed by the late Mr. Spark, you learned that she also accepted payments from an Irish gang member. What's well, obvious is the Flying Squad's next mission should be to find out more about Mad Dog and the extent to which the Irish gangs have taken over Concordia. I agree, and the best place to search for this Mad Dog is in Sinner's End. The area has been under Irish control for many years. Better differences in the past, Nature Brace, but you have my unconditional support. Take this as a token of my appreciation. If there's anyone who deserves to have this, it's you. Oh, we get an exosuit. Sweet. Ace, I knew the World Exhibition had been a roller coaster of emotions, but I have good news. Andrew, Justin Lawson has been endorsed as Concordian's new judge, and he's about to be sworn in by Mayor Castletown. Let's get down to the courthouse to witness the occasion. We won't want to miss it. Do you, Justin Lawson, commit yourself to the official judge faithfully representing the citizens of Concordia? I, Justin Lawson, solemnly affirm to safeguard the liberties and statutes of the that govern the people of Concordia. I promise to uphold the laws of the city, rendering fair and faithful justice to all. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the office of judge. Thank you, Mayor Castleton. Thank you, Ace. I'm honored to be entrusted with solemn authority. I shan't let you down. Welcome aboard, Judge Lawson. Your fair judgment will be needed as Senior Trooper Ace faces new and difficult challenges. Taking on the Irish Gangsters of Sinner's End. Nice. Now we're going to Sinner's End. Let's see. So the real question is, is when is that? If my clock is correct, the 30th is... So I'll have to go get stars, but... Let's go to Sinner's End. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Tell my friends about it. And when is this? Yes. So this Thursday, guys. So this Thursday, I'll actually get the stars here and this. It'll be a little bit of a longer stream. I'll see you guys then. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.